So Jake Paul make another video and Dwight to KSI for not fighting him. Final summary of what just happened between KSI and I. Basically, my opponent pulled out because he couldn't make weight. He didn't want to make weight. And then Alex Wasabi, KSI's opponent, got a concussion, so Alex had to pull out, leaving us both without a fight. Now this puts KSI into a corner. If he doesn't accept the fight with me, we all just know that he's scared. I immediately step up to the plate to fight KSI, even though I've been raging for the past six days. I agreed to all of his terms, 180 pounds, fighting him in London, and then I even said I would fight him for free. You could be the A side. What's your excuse? Do you accept? But KSI still ducked me, and this is officially the biggest duck of all time. I mean, think about it. KSI could make 50 to 100 million dollars by fighting me. I said I would fight for free. Now he's throwing up smoke screens, trying to convince people for some other reason that he's not taking this fight. Oh, we could do it bigger. We could do it at Wembley Stadium. We could do it. Shut up, man. You're scared to fight me. This is your opportunity to cut me down 20 pounds over the next 20 days and to make all of the money from the event. KSI, fighting me right now would have been your best chance. I have to cut all of this weight. I'm not in camp right now. My team is nowhere around me. We would have to reassemble, fly to the UK with the time difference, fight in front of all of your fans. You've said you have the mindset. You've said that you're going to win no matter what. I've got the mindset. The mindset of no one can beat me. No one can beat me. You think you can beat Jake huh? right now? You think you can beat Jake? Yes. So I think he should fight on my card. I think he should fight in the UK. I think he should fight in my weight. I think all these things. And do you think Jake's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, sure, great. Yes, yes, so, sir, KSI. I'm willing to be B-side. I'm willing to go to London. I'm willing to weigh 180 pounds, yet you still don't want to make this fight happen because of short notice shit. Well, guess what? The fight that you're about to do right now is on short notice. Whatever opponent you're going to announce, no one's going to give a fuck about them. So your fight is going to be a short notice fight regardless. The bottom line is you're scared. And now you're trying to confuse everyone as to why this happened or why you shouldn't do it. We're not buying it. You officially just became the the biggest bitch of all time. KSI just tweeted, but KSI, I guarantee you, you would never fight Tyrone Woodley. And he's ready to step in to fight you on three weeks notice. So if he's just some old UFC guy that you're trying to discredit, why not fight him instead of this no name opponent you're about to throw in? Cause Tyrone Woodley's a much bigger name, but you won't do it. He can be Jake? Yes. Yes. KSI, just admit that you're buying time. Admit that you're not ready to fight me yet. That's what we wanna hear. We know your ego is in the way of that. You're acting all tough. You're saying all of these things over the internet, tweeting a million times to try to cover your tracks. But the bottom line is, and even your fans see it because under your tweets, the top comment from your fans is just, take the fight, bro. So just admit it. What, you can't do that? We're not mad at you, but we know. We know what's going on here, and the bottom line is, you don't want to fight. KSI vs Swamp's number don't they have music together? He's fighting someone who has never fought before, and that is his friend this fight should for free. Fauci vs DG should be the main event. I know that Jake Paul is right because KSI is scared, and also I know KSI isn't ready to fight Jake Paul. I don't want to be rude who the F is this guy.